Oh, welcome to uh, the session on small cases in my personal finance. So in this session, which may be a little bit long, I want to talk about how I use small cases, why I started using small cases, how do they compare with mutual funds, and uh, so on. So uh, I think uh, you might find this very interesting. Uh, and uh, I would encourage you to um, uh, spend the time uh, and try and understand uh, this session. So first of all, let me um, say what small cases are. So small cases are just a basket of stocks uh, where you can in some ways become your own mutual fund manager or use uh, baskets that are constructed by a small case or other publishers on small case um, and uh, use them. So instead of choosing a mutual fund manager or a mutual fund house, uh, you can be your own mutual fund manager or choose an other uh, manager uh, who uh, may not belong to a large and well-established mutual fund house. So the question immediately that comes to mind is that why would you want to uh, not use a well-established active fund manager who has so many resources and is managing such large amounts of capital? And the answer is really in the uh, problems that managing large amounts of money uh, causes. Right. So once you are managing very large amounts of money, you're part of a large organization, you get subject to a lot of rules, a lot of bureaucracy, there are uh, rules that you have to follow. And let's say uh, you have a position in a stock which is like um, 500 crores. And because your fund is very large, um, you know, maybe this particular stock is only 10% of your holdings or 5% of your holdings, let's say 5%, uh, then the total amount of money in this fund is uh, 10,000 crores. So now you have 500 crores in this particular stock. Now you feel that you want to get out of this position. So you have to sell 500 crores. Now it's not going to be very easy for you to sell 500 crores. On the other hand, if uh, uh, there is a person who's managing a lot of small cases. Um, each of these small cases are held by individuals. So the person is not managing a pool of money. So they just say, okay, you know, we've rebalanced the small case and you can go ahead. So there'll be different people at different points of time acting on this rebalance instruction and they may follow it, they may not follow it, uh, but the person who is the manager does not have to bother with uh, having to arrange for exiting this very, very large position. So this is, I think, one of the reasons why uh, when I started looking at small cases, I found that um, a lot of small cases were actually outperforming mutual funds in terms of their performance. Uh, so, um, uh, let's see here, I'll just share my screen uh, and uh, we can go and see uh, when we looked at uh, this Barosa Club. So if we look at the tools here, and which I've also covered in, in our previous sessions and go to compare, here compare, and if I look at say large cap, then all these four or five, the uh, top five um, uh, actively managed uh, funds or small cases in the large cap category are all small cases. Okay, so you can investigate this further, but the first fund, which is an actively managed mutual fund, is this Parag Parik Long Term Equity Fund. Right, so there are five funds, including the Barosa Club Top 150, which beat this uh, in the large cap category. So if we go into the balance category, again, the top three funds are uh, small cases. If we go into the mid and small category, again, the top fund 
is a small case, right? So it's quite interesting that, uh, you know, you have to, uh, you have better performance coming from these small cases, which is, of course, one of the biggest reasons to choose them. Now, here I have to sound a, a note of caution because one is that uh, these small cases, uh, quite a few of them do not have uh, very uh, long actual performance records. Some of them do, some of them don't, but definitely not as long as mutual funds because uh, small case is a relatively new phenomenon. So these things have been compared based on the backtest results that the small case uh, providers have provided. Now these uh, results may or may not be all that good. They're not actual performance results. So you've got to take that into account when you compare small cases with mutual funds. So that's one very important thing that you have to keep in back of your mind. The second thing is that this is not an apples to apples comparison because in small case, there may be fees, uh, there may be long-term capital gains taxes that you have to pay, short-term capital gains taxes that you have to pay, transaction fees that you have to pay. And the, some of these are not there in uh, mutual funds. It's also a little more complicated to use small cases compared to mutual funds. So you have to take all these factors into account. But another factor which is also there is that in the small case, you will get dividends and these will get credited to your account. While in the mutual funds, the dividends are also absorbed into the mutual fund. Uh, so more or less, uh, when I did a very detailed calculation, uh, I kind of found out that all these taxes, the stat, the other, the fees, uh, especially because I was using a broker called Zerodha, which had no brokerage on uh, delivery transactions. Uh, that it was more or less a wash and uh, I could really just concentrate on which was performing better, right? Uh, and uh, especially in a case like Bharosa Club where the uh, fees for the small case is like just a thousand rupees a year, uh, if I was investing large amounts, then for me, uh, this became a sort of no brainer. So I was just saying that, okay, you know, while I can get into a lot of the weeds and details and try and figure out this, that, and the other, uh, for me, it's very uh, okay if I just look at pure performance. So how uh, are these performing uh, relative to each other? So I could also use compare. So now let's say I wanted to compare cancel and esque with, say, access mid cap fund. Um, okay, so I could go to compare and I could go to this fund house here, uh, which is a small case because Canslem Esk is a small case fund. I could choose Canslem Esk here and I could go to Access Mutual Fund and I could choose Access Mid Cap Fund and see how these are performed. So the rating for both is five stars. Uh, Cancel Mask has given an 83% return versus 37, 111 versus 73, 6.53 and minus 8.6, 9.5 and 3.45. And for three years, it's given 11.41 and 10.14. And then compare, we only take actual performance. So we do not take back test performance. So that means that this Cancel Mask has a three-year track record and it's doing quite well and these the data has been updated till 2nd july all right so i'm doing this video on 3rd july so it's pretty up to date right so by using this uh, i think what i want you to take away from this is that small case is definitely a thing that if you have not used small cases then you should definitely consider investigating them and see how they fit into your portfolio Okay, so this is uh, one piece. Now, uh, let's go on and uh, see. So the way I track my things is that I have a lot of uh, things fed in into my portfolios on Yahoo. So this is what I have. And I can refresh it. 
at any point in the day because just now it's around 10 40 and trading is going on in the market so at any point in time i can refresh uh, it's taking a little while to refresh but so now it's refreshed uh, and i can see that the nifty 100 is up by 0.42 percent right now here also i have the components of the barosa club top 150 small case and you can see some of the components are up more like Muthut finance is up 2.65 percent uh udl united Rudies is down 0.92 uh the nasdaq 100 which is an etf that uh, this uh, barosa club invests in is down 0.12 and so on and so forth gold bees is down uh uh, 0 0.02 while the other components seem to be up right so then i can also go into uh, this uh, small case here and i can see uh, that how is this performing uh, today you know like how and what is it doing so i can take the chart here and i can see that um, uh, okay, so this particular screen doesn't have today's performance, but anyway, let's see the one month performance. Um, yeah, so in one month, um, you know, this particular small case, which is the blue line, has done worse than the index. And, uh, you know, so here also in uh, uh, Barosa Club, if you remember in the uh, tools, there was this thing on uh the small case you know there it is and you can see that one month it's done 2.33 while uh this has done 5.68 so there is a difference of 3.35 now if i go back to this thing uh you can see 5.68 2.33 so exactly the same thing so this is represented in a much easier form if you're a Barossa Club member, you can see it, uh, that it launched on 8th August 2019. Since launch, even though the market has been very volatile and you've had this very, very sharp correction due to COVID, uh, a person who invested uh, on launch is up 13.59%, while the Nifty 100 is down 3.84%. So the net difference is 17.43 from the market peak. Uh, Barosa is down minus 3.87. The market is down 14.07. And, uh, you know, it's 10.2. But in one month, you know, Barosa is lagging the index. Uh, and three months, it's lagging even more by about 10%. While in six months, it's doing 12% better. Right? So this kind of gives you an idea of what this whole uh, small case thing is all about now if i go in here and uh, i look at um, some of my investments in small case uh, then i can go in here and see that i have invested in all weather investing and uh, my value current value is 2.4 crores and I have a gain of 6.6 .6 lakhs uh, since I invested. Uh, so this is like the unrealized uh, gain uh, on this. Now, one of the things that I want to show you here is that I actually modified the um, uh, all-weather investing. So I'm not really following their uh, selection, uh, but I've modified it a bit. Uh, so let's see if I can show you that. Uh, yeah, so what I did was uh, that I uh, only used the liquid fund uh, where um, I had 56% of this 2.6 crores invested in liquid and 43% invested in gold. And uh, my returns in the liquid, I've just been getting dividends, which are not very much. But in gold, since I invested, I'm up 15.09%, right? So I've done quite well. Uh, with my gold investment. Now, there were two more stock components uh, in a uh, small case, uh, but uh, I didn't choose to uh, this thing. So I modified the small case uh, to suit my liking. Uh, 
Uh, and uh, so that is one other thing that you can do on a small case that you need not actually do all your other things, right? Now, in my personal case, I also had a cancel mask investment and uh, uh, so on and so forth, but I exited those. And uh, because in my view, right or wrong, uh, there may be a fall. Uh, and I feel that there's too much market uncertainty, so I want to keep my powder dry. So this kind of gives you an idea of what I am doing with small case and what the kind of flexibilities are. Uh, now also here, if you wanted to investigate a small case, so uh, here now I have gone to uh, the site called bharosaclub.smallcase.com. So this is a micro site which has been prepared for Bharosa Club by small case. Uh, and uh, you know, so it tells us, uh, as per the SEBI requirements also, that there'll be no complaints uh, that Barossa Club has received. And no, um, so it tells you a little about bit about me because I'm the manager of the small case and what the strategy is. You can read more about it, which I would very much encourage you to do if you're looking at any small case to invest in or subscribe to. Uh, then you can see that this costs 1,180 rupees annually. Uh, so that's a pretty small amount. Uh, once you subscribe, you can see what the components are and what the weights are, uh, and you can get all the rebalances. So even if you do not invest in the small case, if just as part of your research, you wanted to see what are the components of this, you could actually, and how they are being changed by the manager, you can get to know that at a fairly low fee of 1,000 rupees. And then you may choose some uh, and invest on your own or do whatever you like, right? So uh, you could use this in very many creative ways or you could just say, okay, fine, every time we're going to invest in the small case and, you know, I don't want to do my own thing. I don't have the time. So I'm just going to uh, follow the manager exactly, right? So, so this is essentially, um, now the other thing that you should do is you should look at, uh, so I clicked on the C details and, you know, does this small case talk about something, you know, like they were doing very well, then they had this period of one month and three months where they're doing negatively. So what do they say in their blog? So if you look at the uh, Bharosa Club blog, uh, so let's wait for it to load, right? So it says it's been updated on July 1st, 2020, which is good because, right? So they update the blog also every month and this gives you the key information. Now, Bharosa has chosen to let you know the number of subscribers and what are the assets under management. Um, then it tells you what the recent balances are. So we added Muthut Finance in July and its industries and we exited out of Torrent Pharmaceuticals and Ramco Cement. We increased our position size of three investments to reflect high conviction. Our maximum exposure to any single stock remains 8%. Uh, uh, so it tells you why Madhuruth uh, and Reliance were uh, invested. And then it tells you that the performance data, how it has been doing. And uh, uh, so uh, it says that uh, so you will note that our one month and three month performance while positive trails the index. This is primarily driven by a low exposure to cyclical names, consumer durables and BFSR, that's banking and financial services uh, that outperformed during this period. We still feel it's prudent to keep away from these names given their levels of economic uncertainty. So it's giving you information and then that enables you to decide whether you should invest in this small case or not, right? So uh, I uh, got into small cases primarily because uh, mutual funds, I found that I had to exit them because of tax reasons for the US. But as I delved deeper and deeper, I found that small cases were very good. I started very gingerly. I learned about uh, small case. I uh, did some investments. Uh, you know, tried their customer supports and then emails, tried to understand all the transactions. Uh, I opened an account with Zerodha, which was also new for me. I started understanding that functionality very well. 
And once I was comfortable, which I now am, I have moved a very, very large portion of my investments um, into zero thumb, my Indian investments. Um, so I got this in a mutual fund through zero thumb in the overnight fund. Uh, and I've got these all weather investing. Things. Um, so that is my current positioning. And as the markets change, and once the uncertainty goes away, uh, then I will change my strategy to appropriate buckets, uh, like uh, you know, one bucket for really safe money, which will probably remain in the overnight fund, one for medium kind of thing, which will be in the all weather investing uh, kind of bucket. And then I will move uh, quite a substantial portion, maybe to the Bharosa Club Top 150 or something like that. And I might move a little bit of money to the high risk one, which is the Canston esque uh, But these again will change depending on the time. And I'll be using tools like compare uh, to compare whether I should actually put it in, which small case should I use. But what I'm trying to say is that I am reasonably convinced so far. Uh, that uh, I'm going to stop using mutual funds and basically use small cases for my investments. That doesn't mean that I'm locked into this forever. I will keep evaluating it and uh, decide. So I hope you found this useful um, and I hope you will experiment uh, with small amounts with small cases. And uh, that is part of the financial literacy journey uh, which you want to keep doing with uh, innovation if you want to uh, improve the outcomes for your personal finance. Thank you very much for listening to me and I will see you in the next session. Thank you.